Anything else that you're seeing on Arnold's model, you can add on. Maybe you have a new idea about something that you see. I see hotness. I think it's important to look at other students' work and have them critique their own work and their peers' work because it really lets them see that there are other ways of thinking. It's another way of having them listen to each other. It's a really a fabulous way for kids to express their ideas and to focus on how ideas are revised, which revision is an important part uh, of science. And so engaging kids in the revision process and thinking about how do I change my ideas and how do I represent that in writing, in drawing what I can see and what I can't see, um, these are important skills for kids to have. Sequencing how you share out student work is important too. Um, it's not always about showing the, the ones that have are the most creative or the most you know the, drawn the best. It's also about wow, who really moved their thinking. And then students, you know, over time are seeing these different models. Different students are being represented. It's not just the students that that come in with all this um, this background knowledge. It's you know, we can, we can move our learning together over time. You guys did such an amazing job on your models. I want you to think to yourself, did you add a zoom out box? Give me a thumbs up if you added a zoom out box. We looked for students that incorporated that zoom out box that we did in the beginning of the lesson and used it in different ways. I see you added a zoom out box right here. Can you tell us about why you did that? Like everyone knows like to get a closer look. To get a closer look, something that's going on that we know is happening, but we can't see with our eyes. There were some kids that used it in the in the literal way of the, of the way that we did in the lesson, and they zoomed out on the leaf and they put the things in there that, that the leaf needed for energy, but then, they're, but then they took it a step further. Can you talk about why you did two zoom out boxes and why they're important? The leaf helps the tree grow, mm -hmm. and the apple helps the tree too. How does the apple help the tree? By um, seed. Did what you put seeds in there? Look at that animal right there. Can you talk about what's happening inside this animal right here? Inside of there is the pool and it, uh, and 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 then the animal poops it down, and then a bee pollinates that and that, and then the new apple tree grows. Do you see how smart thinking? So he's showing how it happens over time and he's using that, he's using those arrows to show that it's happening over time. So I saw lots of great modeling today and lots of different ways that you guys were showing your ideas. So one thing that I was looking at on some of your pictures was that you were showing that sometimes things come down and then other times things go up. And so I wanted to show you a couple models that I saw that had different ideas about things coming down and things going up. I think it's important to look at other students' work and have them critique their own work and their peers' work um, because it really lets them sh see that um, there are other ways of thinking. During our discussions, we use a discussion stoplight. And the discussion stoplight is um, a way for teachers and students to give words to how we're expressing our ideas. And so students can add on to another student's idea, students can have a new idea, and students can also repeat another student's idea. For me in my classroom, it kind of gives me language to use, common language with my students, that it's okay to repeat someone else's idea if you think the same thing. And it's okay to have a new idea. And it's okay Okay, um, to add on to someone else's idea. So what are you noticing about the arrows in Faith's picture here? Okay, raise your hand if you've got an idea. Arnold, what are you noticing about her picture? Air rain. Okay, so what direction does the rain go? Down. Okay, so she's showing rain by going down. Okay, does anyone want to add on to that idea? Let's see. Aiden, do you want to add on to the idea that there's some rain going down? What else do you see? I also see rain going up. Oh, so something's going up. So that's kind of a new idea. So we've got rain coming down, and she's showing rain is going up. Oh, you were thinking that too? Okay, so um, Carter, what are you noticing? Uh, you can have the same idea, you can have a new idea. I have the same idea. You have the same idea, so what are you noticing that's the thing? Uh, the rain is going up. There's rain going up, that's interesting to me. We're supporting student thinking over time. We're allowing student knowledge to play a piece 
We're allowing them to learn new information and learn from each other. It's this collective learning piece. I think that's really ambitious and important, um, and it's supporting that student thinking.